Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anistia Antoine and this is your midday news brief. Schools island-wide are undergoing rehabilitation works that are not only routine maintenance but retrofitting for COVID-19. The Ministry of Education says despite a reduction in the budget for infrastructural upgrades, all schools are being attended too. Chief Education Officer Dr. Fiona Philip Meyer says the rehabilitation works include the installation of additional hand washing stations and sanitizing dispensers. The ministry will be communicating with the principals of schools that will be experiencing delays in the rehabilitation works with an indication of completion guidelines for the safe reopening of schools. Dr. Maya is encouraging parents to help the children with the personal hygiene practices and protocols that will protect them from COVID-19. The Ministry of Education has in stock face masks, face shields and hand sanitizers which will be distributed to schools to assist with the adherence of the COVID-19 protocols. With banana production being negatively impacted due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the governments of St. Lucia and the Republic of China, Taiwan, through the Banana Productivity and Improvement Project, continue to provide financial assistance to banana farmers in St. Lucia. The BPIP entails a full slate of projects and initiatives in the areas of pest control, education and sensitization, among others, get towards bringing banana production to an optimum level. The banana industry has an annual turnover in trade of approximately $20 million. Acting Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources and Cooperatives, Honorable Herod Stanislas, expressed gratitude to the Government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, for their continuous support. Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chen, reaffirmed Taiwan's commitment to providing assistance to the banana farmers in St. Lucia. The handing over ceremony took place on Tuesday, August 25, 2020, at the Ministry of Agriculture. Several early childhood development centers on island have been approved for reopening in September. This is according to Chief Education Officer Dr. Fiona Philip Meyer. The World Health Organization advises that children aged 5 years and under should not be required to wear masks. This is based on the safety and overall interest of the child and the capacity to approximately use a mask with minimal assistance. Similar to primary and secondary schools, early childhood centers island-wide have submitted their COVID-19 conscious instructional plans to the department. In collaboration with the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards, the department's Early Childhood Education Unit has been reviewing each plan before submitting them to the Environmental Health Department for approval. All adults must wear a mask while on the compound of any early childhood development center. This has been your midday news brief. Thank you for watching.